Lauren and I welcome you back to Good Morning Indiana. And so the Rebound Indiana is showing you how groups are stepping up really to help Hoosiers, families in need in particular, and where you can get help if families are struggling to make ends meet. And so Raphael, back in March, I showed you how Churches in Mission down in yeah. Morgan County is a collaborative effort to help those families in need. And so I traveled back down to their Martinsville location where the need is still growing, but so is the generosity. February, I was in here, and a lot of the shelves were just sparse. And to walk in here now and see all of these freezers, and to walk through the building and to see the additional shelves that have been built, and the stock, you know, the stock that is on the shelves, they are ready and prepared to meet the needs of this community. Tracy Clendenin is a Morgantown resident with a heart for serving her community. She often works with seniors in Morgan County, a group hit particularly hard by COVID-19. Many of them just didn't go out at all, or you know, stay in their homes and Church's admission has allowed food to be delivered literally to the door of seniors. In Morgan County, a rural community, the lack of transportation for some residents creates an additional hurdle for food accessibility. For some people that live in this area, transportation is difficult and so, you know, finances to get out and purchase food is one hurdle. And so the work of Churches in Mission, a collaborative effort to serve neighbors in need in Morgan County, has been working hard to meet a growing demand for food, hygiene, and utility and rental assistance. So everything that Churches in Mission is doing is just having a profound impact on people. Even Tracy found herself in need unexpectedly. For me, for me personally, I have gone through a tough time and Churches in Mission helped me on a personal individual level. So, I mean, Changes in the economy and things that are happening are impacting people, <laughs> you know what I mean, from all walks of life. Whether folks need help right now during these uncertain times or more long term, Churches and Mission is working to meet the needs in several ways. Mentoring, helping people with financial counseling, financial stewardship, helping with dietary you know, elements of their life to be able to improve their quality of life. Thanks to the generosity of individuals, businesses, churches, and organizations like United Way, the shelves of their Martinsville location here are fully stocked. They now have freezers and refrigerators to store perishables, all things that executive director David Maurer says wouldn't have been possible if the community hadn't stepped up these past few months. It's been a game changer for us. And he says through awareness with things like their virtual fundraiser this week, he hopes many more people will look for ways to help their neighbors. Quite often we live in our world, we're in the world of busyness, we're doing this and that, and we forget about those that are in need. So awareness is key. The other one is then create an action plan. And so here is how you can take action. WRTV is the exclusive media partner for Churches and Missions virtual fundraiser this year. We are live streaming that event on our Facebook page this Thursday night at 7 p.m. You can tune in and help them raise money to serve more people during this pandemic. There's also auction items you can bid on. So for more steps on how to register and to receive that pin number, just click on this story on WRTV.com rebound.